Israeli-Palestinian peace plans of the past and present include Israel turning over land gain from the 1967 Six-Day War in exchange for peace. We take you to Israel's biblical heartland to find what that means and why it's so controversial. Much of the world calls the playgrounds these children enjoy an obstacle to peace. That's because they're in Judea and Samaria, otherwise known as the West Bank. Are we witnessing prophecy unfolding right now after the 1967 war? Absolutely. It says yeah. that the sound of children playing in the streets will be heard once yeah. again. Uh -huh. So you hear it, you see it. I spoke with former Shiloh Mayor David Rubin in Shiloh, overlooking the road of the patriarchs, the highway Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would have traveled on. Rubin told me the Six-Day War was pivotal in Israel's history. It opened the door for Jewish people to redeem the biblical heartland after 2,000 years in exile. Places like Jerusalem, home of two consecutive Jewish temples, Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus. Hebron, where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their wives are buried. And Shiloh, where the tabernacle stood for 369 years. They all came back into Israeli hands. So you see 67, the Six Day War, just like a pivot, a prophetic pivot in, in time and history? Oh, clearly, clearly. It says in the book of Ezekiel, the dry bones being put back together again. Israel was being put back together again as a nation. If we don't have a right to Shiloh, and we don't have a right to Shechem, and we don't have a right to Bethel and Jericho, we definitely don't have a right to Tel Aviv. But not everyone saw the opportunity. It took until 1978 for Shiloh to be established, just above the site where the tabernacle had rested. There were Israelis who were coming here trying to set up tents on the lower hills of Shiloh. And the Israeli prime minister, who was looking over his shoulder at the American president, uh, kept, kept sending in the army to chase them away. Just months after the Six-Day War, Israelis established the first Jewish community in Judea, about 35 miles south of Shiloh at Kifar Etzion. Jews lived there before Israel's independence war in 1948 and were either evacuated or massacred by the Jordanians. When this group of orphans, of those who were murdered, notified the Israeli government that if you don't give us the permit, we will go on without a permit. The government really couldn't stand up against orphans of those who were murdered. And so Kvaretzion was established. Rabbi Eliezer Waldman was one of those who helped establish the next community in ancient Hebron. There was always a Jewish community in Hebron, even, even during the 2,000 years of exile, until 1929, when the Arabs massacred the Jewish community here. A small group of families rented a hotel in Hebron for the Passover Seder. Essentially, they never left. And I believe then almost the entire population of Israel was with us. Even more than a half a year after the Six-Day War, the spirits were high among almost the entire population. Thousands of Israeli pilgrims enter the old city of Jerusalem for solemn religious ceremonies which... All of the media was with us. Yeah, I even remember headlines, passages of the prophets hovering in the air. After 50 years, some 430,000 Israelis live in more than 200 communities in Judea and Samaria. The number jumps to 750,000 if Eastern Jerusalem neighborhoods are included. The growth here has been so tremendous. And as we gotten through those 50 years after the Six Day War and we're looking to the future, so we have this vision of a, a booming Shiloh once again. 50 years ago, what would this place have looked like? Barren desert. There was nothing. It was just hills of weeds and thorns. This road will lead to a new school for the growing population. There are 8,000 residents in the Shiloh Township. More than 2,000 of them are children who study here in Shiloh. We learned that when Israel is not in the land, that the land lays barren. 
the land doesn't give its fruit. And now the land of Israel is giving of its fruit because Israel is back. And the most important fruit is what you see right here. All these children here. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Shiloh in Samaria. Tomorrow we focus on the Six Day War and introduce you to the man behind one of the most iconic images to come out of the war. If you'd like to know more about the Six Day War, CBN Documentaries produced a docudrama called In Our Hands. You can find out more at cbn.com slash in our hands.